Nightmare Night 8, Ghost Pony and the Pirate Adventure. Chapter 1, The Haunted Preparations. The moon rose high over Ponyville, casting eerie shadows as Nightmare Night approached. Ghost Pony stood in front of a mirror, adjusting his pirate hat, complete with a red bandana and a skull emblem. His black eye patch gave him an intimidating air, while the gold-rimmed boots added the perfect touch to his buccaneer look. He twirled a toy sword, giving it a playful swish. Ghost Pony grinned. Ah, tonight we be set in sail for treasure, mateys. Princess Kincaid, dressed in a lab coat with her mane messily styled to look like she'd been through countless experiments, walked up behind him. Her costume, a mad scientist, suited her energetic and brilliant personality. She adjusted her goggles and smiled at Ghost Pony. Looking sharp, Captain, she teased. Are you ready to lead your crew tonight? Aye, Ghost Pony said, laughing. The crew's all prepped for adventure, and speaking of which, where are those little scallywags? Just then, the door burst open, and in came Jack Farmer, their son, bouncing around in his Oliver the Cat costume. His furry cat ears and little orange tail swayed as he darted around the room, pretending to pounce on invisible prey. Meow! I'm ready to hunt for candy! Jack exclaimed, giving a mischievous grin. Ghost Pony chuckled. Looks like our little feline's ready for the prowl. Stephanie W. Kincaid and Danny Farmer followed close behind. Stephanie's bluey costume, with its blue and cream fur patterns and playful paws, matched her bouncy energy. Danny, dressed as Bingo, looked equally excited, her little tail wagging as she giggled. Bluey and Bingo reporting for candy duty, Stephanie announced, striking a playful pose. Danny giggled. Yeah, we're going to get so much candy! Ghost Pony smiled proudly. We'll need all the candy we can get to fuel this pirate crew. Princess Kincaid laughed, sure to analyse the candy later in my lab. She tapped her goggles playfully. Just then, their friend Fiery Ratchet entered, wearing a detective costume complete with a long trench coat and a magnifying glass. Detective Ratchet on the case, he said with a smirk, scanning the room dramatically. I'm here to solve the mystery of where all the candy's hiding. Lightning Base appeared next, looking tall and skeletal in his Jack Skellington costume. He gave a spooky laugh, stretching his long limbs. And I'll be haunting the streets tonight, Lightning said, raising his arms theatrically. Let's make this nightmare night one to remember. The door creaked open one last time, revealing uh, Mr. Black in a dazzling Broadway-style Willy Wonka outfit, complete with a purple coat, top hat and a cane. He struck a pose. And who could forget the candy master himself, Mr. Black grinned. I'll be conjuring up the sweetest treats. Looks like we've got quite the crew, Ghost Pony said, eyeing his friends and family. Let's set sail for adventure. Chapter 2. The night begins. The streets of Ponyville were alive with the energy of Nightmare Night. Ponies in costumes of all kinds walked the decorated streets, stopping by houses for candy and treats. Ghost Pony, leading his pirate crew of family and friends, strolled through the streets, his toy sword held high. First stop, the haunted house by Sugar Cube Corner! Ghost Pony announced, his voice booming over the chatter of ponies. The kids cheered, ready for adventure. As they approached the haunted house, they could hear spooky noises and eerie music coming from inside. Ghost Pony raised an eyebrow and turned to his crew. Who's brave enough to go inside? he asked giving a mischievous grin. I'll go, Jack said, his cat ears twitching. Oliver the cat isn't afraid of anything. Let's do it, Stephanie chimed in, pulling Danny along by the paw. Princess Kincaid chuckled. Guess we're all going in then. I'll make some notes in my lab journal about this haunted house experiment. They ventured inside, greeted by creaky floorboards, flickering lights and ghostly voices. Ghost Pony led the way, swinging his sword at imaginary enemies. Beware, ghosts and goblins, the pirate captain's here to claim your treasure. Suddenly, a figure jumped out of the shadows and Lightning Bass let out a spooky laugh. Gotcha, he said, his Jack Skellington mask glowing in the dark. The kids squealed with excitement while Ghost Pony laughed heartily. You almost scared me, Lightning. Almost. Fiery Ratchet, still in detective mode, inspected the corners of the room with his magnifying glass. Hmm, I detect some candy clues here. Follow me. Together, the group explored the haunted house, collecting candy and solving spooky riddles along the way. Chapter 3. The Pirate's Treasure After leaving the haunted house, 
Ghost Pony led his crew through the streets, stopping by every house in sight. Their bags were filling up fast, but the adventure was far from over. Captain, I think we've got enough candy to last a year, Princess Kincaid said with a playful smirk. Aye, but the night's still young, Ghost Pony said. There's one more treasure to claim, the legendary candy chest at the town square. The kid's eyes lit up. The candy chest? Is it real? Jack asked. It's real, Ghost Pony replied, his voice full of mystery, but it's guarded by the most fearsome creatures, the candy keepers. The group made their way to the town square, where a large chest sat, surrounded by spooky decorations. Ghostly figures stood guard, watching over the treasure. Ghost Pony took a deep breath. This is it, crew. Our final challenge. I'll distract them with my mad science experiments, Princess Kincaid said with a grin. And I'll sneak in like Oliver the cat, Jack whispered, crouching low. Bluey and Bingo will help too. Stephanie and Danny chimed in, running to join Jack. As the kids and Kincaid caused a delightful distraction, Ghost Pony and the rest of the crew charged forward. Fiery Ratchet used his detective skills to find the perfect opening, while Lightning Bass and Mr. Black helped take down the candy keepers with their dramatic flair. Finally, Ghost Pony reached the chest and flung it open. Inside was the biggest stash of candy they had ever seen. Treasure! Ghost Pony shouted triumphantly. The kids ran over, cheering as they grabbed handfuls of candy. Princess Kincaid smiled warmly. Another successful experiment. Ghost Pony wrapped an arm around her. I and another great nightmare night. As the night came to a close, the crew of pirates, mad scientists, cats, detectives and more walked home, bags full of candy and hearts full of joy. Chapter 4. The Night's End Back at their home, the Ghost Kincaid family gathered around the fireplace, recounting their adventures. This was the best nightmare night ever, Stephanie said, munching on candy. Danny nodded. Yeah, we got so much candy. Ghost Pony chuckled, taking off his pirate hat. It was a good haul, but the real treasure is spending time with all of you. Princess Kincaid leaned against him. Couldn't have said it better myself, Captain. The night ended with laughter, candy and stories. Another nightmare night for the history books. And somewhere in the distant night, a pirate captain smiled, ready for the next adventure. The end.